Hi, what you are seeing is a DJI Amavic Air 2 running a virtual stick mission. It looks pretty smooth, right? In the next few minutes, I'll give you some tips on how to get the most out of virtual stick missions. Virtual stick missions are critical, as the application must constantly fly the drone, for the entire duration of the mission. But, unfortunately it is the only solution available for some drone models, such as the DJI Mavic Air 2 we are using in this demo. The application constantly reads different parameters of the drone, such as GPS position, orientation and speed. Based on these data it makes decisions in real time on which piloting commands, or camera movements to send to the drone to perform the mission. These data may have accuracy errors and delays due to communication to and from the drone, Use the following tips to mitigate the problems. Tip number one. Fly when there is no wind. I know it's not always possible, but the wind is really critical in virtual stick missions, so if you have a certain amount of time to be able to choose when to take off, try to understand when it's time with less gusts. Tip number two, update the app. As you can imagine, the piloting algorithm in Virtual Stick is quite complex and there is always room for improvement. Flying with the latest update ensures you are using the latest tuning. Tip number three, point the remote controller at the drone for the entire duration of the mission. Radio disturbances can cause further communication delays because the app may be missing some telemetry data and the drone may miss some piloting commands. Pointing the remote controller at the drone ensures the best possible connection. This is especially important with drones with weaker connections, such as the first generation Mavic Mini, but it is a good habit to do with all drones. The built-in radar in the app can help you point at the drone when it is far away. Tip number four, fly slowly. If the mission does not last too long, it is always advisable to select a speed that is not excessive, for a more stable flight. In this demo mission we used a speed of 5 meters per second, but don't be afraid to go even slower. Tip number 5. Editing and post-processing. The footage from the mission may still have some imperfections and some shaking, but this can be fixed in post-production with your favorite video editing program. Just apply a shaky video stabilization filter. Or simply by cutting out particularly rough scenes. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you found any useful advice. And subscribe to the channel to not miss the next video. Ciao.